mock job skill demo, I'll be showing you how to properly install a piston into a cylinder liner. The PPE needed for this video is safety glasses. The tools I'll be using is a ring expander tool to expand that ring once it slides onto this piston. The ring itself, which there's actually four of these, but we'll only use one for time's sake. A ring compressor, so I can compress the rings once I slide it in down to the liner. And if we're using old rings, we would use this ring groove cleaner to clean out the grooves of the rings. And if needed, a dead blow hammer just to tap the piston into the liner. The motor oil to lube up the cylinder liner and the piston itself. And here's different types of, this is more of a fan style compression tool. I will not be using that. Now, we go over the demonstration. This ring expander tool. It takes a little bit. Just like so. I went pop a little bit, but we got her. Now, generally there are four, just four of these rings, just like I said, but you want to stagger them 180 degrees. And if you don't, it could result in loss of compression, which is or blow by. Now we're going to decompress this ring with this compressor tool. First, we're going to lay our rag down so it won't get on the table. And just lube up the cylinder liner. Bit on the piston too. Back off your hands a little bit. Then grab the compressor tool. this over the piston, clamp together, squeeze tightly, slide this over top of the piston, and we will be needing this rubber mallet. Just tap it in like so. Now I 
piston is fully seated in this cylinder, this cylinder liner. This would be your wrist pin that's locked to the pit, piston and the connecting rods if we we're connecting this piston and the cylinder liner to the crank. Then I can torque down, torque down all the all the all the caps on the uh, on the connecting rod. Then you would rotate the crank and make sure it does not lock up. This is my job skill demo on how to properly install a piston into a cylinder.